people still cattle in this state just like they did way back in the 1800s. Only today they use more technical equipment such as nice trailers, big trucks, cell phones, uh, and anything else to help move these cattle that are stolen. In Oklahoma, my agents and I will investigate anywhere from 1,500 to 3,000 head of cattle reported were stolen just to us every year. Uh, and we will recover somewhere between five and six million dollars worth of stolen cattle and equipment as uh, annually. Probably the first time that I was ever involved in stealing cattle, I was probably 17 years old. Hauled them a couple states and sold them and when we had that money in our hand, you know, that was a uh, that was an adrenaline rush of its own. When I was about 16 years old, uh, I tried meth for the first time. And at first, I didn't use as much. And and all of a sudden, you know, it took quite a bit of money to fuel my habit. And uh, dropped out of school. I uh, got back into stealing cattle. I ended up getting charged in six different counties. It ranged anywhere from stealing cattle to possession of drugs to transporting firearms, possession of firearms. When I went down the wrong path, I mean, I really went. I didn't go halfway. I mean, I was, did some pretty bad stuff. One of the things that we see that most uh, of our investigations have in common are the outlaws that we arrest are users of uh, illegal narcotics. We find that most and often here in Oklahoma to be methamphetamines. Uh, methamphetamines uh, it shows no uh, uh, it shows no sympathy for anybody who uses it. Once you try a drug as powerful as meth, you're addicted to it, and that's what we see most of the time happen to these outlaws that we chase that are stealing cattle. trying to set some money back so I can afford to buy some cows so we can you know, build a better future for ourselves and, and for our kids where maybe they can have a cow herd to finance their going to college someday. And my main deal now is just, you know, I don't try to hide what happened from my kids. I won't ever try to hide it. They're not really old enough to understand right now, but you know, I want them to know the things that I did, the things I messed up on that way. Maybe they can learn from my mistakes and not go down the same path that I did. Thank you.